What's up everybody? This is Danny with Danny's Auto Detailing and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a journey on a complete interior detail. Plus, I am celebrating my 1,000 subscribers by announcing a giveaway. So stay tuned. Welcome to my TED Talk. All right, here's the before pictures, before videos of what the Vit car looks like before I'm about to touch it. It's always good to take some before and afters, and I don't always do that, but it's always fun to do that. Look at that carpet, man. It's got a lot of pet hair, a lot of kids crumbs, uh, a lot of year, two years, I think, two years. Uh, I also noticed the stains in the center console, tons of debris in the trunk. I mean, I got my work cut out for me. It looks a lot more difficult than it actually is, um, and the key is to open every door, uh, move every chair, and get into every crevice. That's the key. So I'm showing you what the car looks like now, and we're about to get into the cleaning. All right, so first thing that I'm noticing here is that I should have removed the car seat because I'm really just uh, taking more time than I need to take but still it's a good solid vacuum it feels good um, it it just feels satisfying so I am enjoying myself and I didn't realize at this point that I should have taken out the car seats at some point I do take out the car seats but uh, here we are doing the initial vacuum now some people might have another method I do just I don't know if it's laziness I don't think so but it's just that I like to hit it with the vacuum first and number two is usually always the drill to loosen up things with a second vacuum after that. Then I will come in with the pet hair remover. Now, if anybody has any tips on how to speed that up uh, or to get through that, then let me know. Uh, right here, I'm nodding my head because there's, you know, there's debris in there, but there's also like that uh, nasty gooey stuff that's like lubricants for the seats. So I didn't like that. Uh, also, I'm noticing underneath that seat to the left, there's a bunch of pet hair. I don't even think I ever touched that. Uh, things you see in retrospect. So the pet hair is coming up pretty good on this carpet. I was pretty satisfied with that, and I felt like I was moving along pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure I set the timer uh, as well. I like to set the timer a lot when I'm doing interiors, especially because I want to keep the ball rolling, and it just keeps it in the back of my mind. Again, guys, if you have any feedback of what's going on, hit me in the comments. I read them all, and I do respond to them all. Now, these are the two brushes that I really like to use the, the most. That's the grout brush, and the one before that is actually a lint brush for clothing machine dryers. It comes with a much longer handle, and my boy Wayne with Fog City Detail chopped off the handle and made it more of a snub nose to give me more control. There we go. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. You guys, uh, you guys feel me on that? <laughs> All right, here's a uh, left side I vacuumed, the right side still dirty. I just wanted to show that. And here is something interesting. Another thing, what makes you a detailer? Things like this, okay? Just noticing everything that moves, everything that opens, everything that, you know, flips, flaps and getting in there and exploring. Uh, again, we're like archeologists, I'm an excavator. I am excavating the entire surrounding and pulling out everything that doesn't belong. So, I should, I should, we should all have a degree in some in detailology because uh, we are, we are, you know what I'm talking about. If anybody has any questions about the tools that I use or any tips on what you think I'm doing, I might be making a mistake, hit me up in the comments. Now, I would have to say, I will have to say that this, what I'm doing right now, are good examples on how to detail using proper tools if you don't have a air compressor. I don't have one, I've never even used one, I've never touched an air compressor. But from what I understand, if I had one, my life would be changed. But look, I'm detailing out of a very small Honda Fit, and I need, what, a four-gallon air compressor in there? I don't know. Anyway, 
Uh, the McCullough, I used to have the 1285 McCullough steamer. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, and I kind of feel like it was just too big for my Honda Fit. So uh, once that broke, I went down to the 1275, and to be honest, it's the perfect size because uh, not once yet have I ran out of water detailing a car, no matter how dirty it has been, with the 1275. I know you're not getting much of a savings, but it's like a $10 savings or something like that, but for me it wasn't about the money, it was more about uh, getting a good fit in my Honda Fit. Alright, here's an example of the door panel. I try to be very systematic about it. Notice how I get to start from the top, I get to the edges left and right, and I kind of make my way down. Sometimes I go around in a 360, sometimes I go just straight down. And this time it's like top to bottom. I use the little detail brush to get into the crevices there, the, uh, the window buttons, the door handle, and the, side, the little uh, compartment there. In a second, I'm going to pull out the steamer. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look like it needs a steamer on the door, but, you know, the car hasn't been detailed in quite some time, and there's a lot of dust there. So I took the steamer out. I decided to use it today and get into the cracks, and I think it really is a nice touch. What do you guys think? All right, all right. I want you to know that I am a student of Wilson Auto Detailing. During the pandemic, early 2020, I believe I was one of the groups that was the group that took Will, uh, Luke's first course, and it was phenomenal. I mean, all the videos he gave on detailing, the descriptions he he did, he spoke kind of like for the layman. Um, he's very good at speaking. Very smart guy. A college degree, I believe, in like chemical sciences or something like that so I mean if you're gonna listen to anybody about detailing and business Luke is one of the best and I highly recommend uh, taking his free course and getting that going I used to sit in the driver's seat and detail this area sometimes I still do but I found that I kind of like standing off to the side but you got to be careful because when you're not sitting in the driver's seat detailing you're might not see everything the driver sees uh, especially on the right side so you got to make sure that when the driver gets in the car they are not going to see anything that you missed okay when when a customer gets in their car you don't want them to see anything except a clean car All right, here we are. Uh, again, I should have taken out the darn seat. <laughs> anyway, I know you guys are gonna hit me with that, and I realize that. And they're not, they're so easy to take out too on these, uh, on these Toyota Siennas. here it's pretty satisfying watching this I'm in the groove right now just just going and I'm getting everything I've got the music in my ear uh, the music on here is pretty nice and we're just feeling the vibe right now I'm getting into the groove definitely guys when you're detailing you want to get into some kind of a zone where you're fully and completely present in the moment Yes, I know we're going to be thinking about our private matters, uh, different things, thousands of thoughts go through our head, but the most important for, thing for us to be in is the present moment with the detail. Your eyes were open, you'll be able to see so much more, so many more openings uh, in, 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 in areas that need to be cleaned if you're just there in the moment. Like, the, this is your universe right here. This car right now is my universe. <laughs> 
Okay, steam cleaning. I have had some comments, you know, about how steam cleaner can burn carpet and stuff like that, and I do agree. But I move pretty quick, quickly with a steam cleaner, and I I, I get the cre the um, crevices because it's kind of acts like a blower, I guess, kind of like a air compressor, which I don't have. So the the steam is blowing and cleaning crevices, especially carpet crevices. It helps out a lot. Give it a try, but make it quick so you don't burn the carpet. All right, here we go. I did actually clean that little dirt stain right there and uh, later, and it turned out good. Okay, with leather, with leather, uh, I I'm using uh, I'm using PNS in Express Interior Detailer uh, one to one, but I'm also adding uh, some Super Clean. Probably it would be like ten to one worth of Super Clean, and I kind of like that. It, it's not Serrano sauce. I haven't tried Serrano sauce, but I will try Serrano sauce very soon. But when you're dealing with leather and you're using Super Clean, you really have to make sure that you don't let it drip for too long because it could literally uh, clean the color off of the leather and you're going to have these white drips. I know people that have happened to, and it's really not cool. So when you spray down the seat, make sure to give it an agitation all around before you start really giving it an agitation. Just like kind of get it all sudsy and then come back to all the areas and clean it just so you don't have any drips. All right, guys, you've waited long enough. Now it's time to announce the giveaway. The giveaway is happening on Thursday, September 15th at 6 p.m. I'm going to be on YouTube live interacting with you guys, answering any questions you may have, and that is where I'm going to be giving away this prize right here. All right, you guys get a good look at that? That's the prize that I'm going to give away. You got to be there, though, on Thursday, September 15th at 6 p.m. on YouTube Live. So uh, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're there because I want to give this away to one lucky subscriber. All right, that's enough for that. Back to the video. All right, when you're cleaning, you know what? I don't think this is a Toyota Sienna. I think this is a Honda Odyssey, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I get confused. But uh, doing the inside door panel of the sliding door is a real pain. It's a really good thing that you can remove the seats. So I just went ahead and closed the door and cleaned the thing from the inside. If you guys have a better way, let me know, but I think this is a pretty good way to do it. Whenever you use that steam cleaner, guys, make sure you hit any cracks, crevices, uh, seams, you know, things that, you can't, that are nudged up against carpet and plastic. The steam cleaner really helps get through that. Alright, finally making it to the center console, uh, I'm just <laughs> doing it from the back, that's all good, cleaning it up, wasn't too horrible in, in there, I was really happy with that, and uh, we're almost done with the interior detail. Interior, it's taken me about two solid hours to clean the leather seats, the door panels, the trunk, the crevices, the side panels, the doors, you know, center console, everything like that. Two hours on a Sienna. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Let me know what you guys do. But the thing is, is uh, I still have to do some carpet cleaning. And as you can see, a lot of hairs and things have still kind of revealed themselves in dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blower that I just got, my new blower. If you've been following my channel, uh, my other cheap one has finally conked out on me and I'm going to blow things out with this. So check it out. I'm really digging this blower, the big boy mini or something like that. $135, I believe. $145. Uh, it blows good high quality air and it also 
blows warm air too. Uh, most of the time I, I, I feel it and it feels good. The only There is one downfall about it, it's not the most ergonomic, so it, my hand does get a little sore when I'm holding it. This, uh, this blower that I'm going to be giving away as a gift, it has a better design where it's a, a looks a little more ergonomic for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Whoever wins, um, definitely let me know how it works out for you. So finally I'm glad that I have all both the seats out and uh, moving forward on this. Now I did not break out the extractor on this. I know I could have and I probably could have pulled up a lot more dirt in retrospect. Uh, but I felt that the quality of work that I did was able to do was very good. The customer was super happy at the end. I mean, it basically appeared that I got all the dirt out and made it look real nice again. I mean, technically I did. Look what I mopped it up. It's all mopped up. Not everybody's going to have an extractor. I mean, that's a very expensive expense. So a lot of us are going to be detailing without extractors. And we have to realize that, you know, that you can do it. All right, we're wrapping up here and ready for the quick final montage. There you have it everybody. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. I know I've gotten some good feedback from it uh, the last couple and, I and I've made some adjustments. So again, guys, give me some more feedback on the quality of this video if you like the narration and if you want me to do more like this because I certainly like doing it, but I wanna do it if you guys like it, all right? That's it for today. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and don't detail angry.